In this video, we present XMLMate, an automatic test input generation tool that combines grammar based fuzzing and search based test generation. XMLMate uses XML schema definitions as specification for generating valid inputs that can be used to test programs from the same interface that is used by a user. XMLMate uses a genetic algorithm based on the well-known search-based unit test generator EvoSuite that starts with a population of randomly generated input sets. To these sets, the standard search operators are applied. The fitness of the inputs is evaluated, which determines when to apply search operators by crossover and mutation. At the end of the search, XMLMate provides a set of test inputs that result in high coverage when executed with the program. XMLMate can also start with an initial population of sample inputs in order to seed more realistic values. If one wants to test a library, XMLMate needs a test driver that exercises the library under test when it is executed with an input file. XMLMate is available as a command line tool. To generate a suite of test inputs, one simply has to invoke it with the right configuration options. First, we need to put XMLMate and the program under test on the class path. Then we can execute the main class of XMLMate. We also need to provide a path to the XML schema definition for the target format and the name of the root element of the target format. Furthermore, we need to provide the name of the main class of the program under test or test driver. And in order to enable XMLMate to avoid focusing on generating coverage on standard API and third party classes, we need to provide a package prefix of the classes of our program under test. And then we can execute this command and XMLMate will read the schema definitions and start generating XML inputs, measuring their coverage and evolving them from generation to generation until we get a set of inputs in the end that achieves a high code coverage. After generation has finished, we get a directory with a set of test inputs. This is an example of a music XML document generated by XMLMate. There is also the file info.txt, which contains reports on thrown exceptions during evaluations. An ANT script we ship with our distribution can be used to easily measure coverage on the generated files, merge the coverage information and create a report for the program under test. As you can see here, as the merged coverage file and there's a report directory which contains an HTML report that can be easily viewed and browsed with a regular web browser.
We can also easily visualize the coverage information in Eclipse with the coverage plugin ECL Emma. In order to do that, we right click in the coverage view, choose import session, choose coverage session on the other and point to the coverage file created by the ARN script and make sure everything belonging to our program is selected in the scope and click finish and after that we've got a nice visualization of the coverage achieved by our test input.